What's going on y'all? We're back here again today with another video. Today I thought I'd do a short little video just explaining what I bring in my camera bag or what I bring to film all the hunts that we do on YouTube or whether that be TikTok or Instagram Reels or YouTube Reels, whatever. But basically I want to do one of these videos because nobody ever really told me and there's newer videos now but when we first started doing this there weren't videos out there explaining like what's the best stuff to use like I not a camera tech guru person like I think a camera films I don't know all the little kinks and quirks about all of them but so we're gonna get right into it I'm just gonna talk about the two cameras I bring hunting and all the accessories that you need for it especially when something comes to say water when it comes to water because that is a big problem water and technology don't mix very well so let's get right into it. Alright, so the first camera we got is the one you're watching through this video right now. Uh, it is a Canon EOS Mark II. It's a fairly new camera. I believe it came out in 21 or 22. Uh, don't call me out on it, but I believe that is the proper uh, time range for it. Um, it's a very cost-effective camera. You can easily get a new one for under $1,000. Um, also, I will put all this... Um, accessories and cameras down in the link below in the description so you can check it all out for yourself but this camera I love it because um, it does 4k very easily and very well um, takes great pictures probably better pictures and video um, it has a turnaround lens so you can so I can watch myself right now as I'm doing this video battery life is quite well I've gone out hunting before and completely forgot to charge the cameras whether that be a long night or just being uh, ignorant about charging my batteries but um, yeah the only downside I would say this camera is the zoom is a little eh not eh it's very good zoom but if you were if you're wanting to span several hundred yards it's probably not going to do that justice usually we go hunting most of the stuff is within a good range especially why I like duck hunting with this camera it gets very good shots up close so for accessories for this camera in particular there's a mic that is currently on that camera right now. I am not sure what particular brand that uh, microphone is, but it does come with the package if you want to buy that. I bought this camera on Best Buy and it came with this Canon handle uh, and the mic. The Canon handle is, I love it because for one, you can easily put a light right here and you just, this easily, this can come out in and out all the time. Um, right here if you don't want a light on your camera. We always use one because half the film is when it's very dark. Um, light easily fixes right on there and the camera you don't even have to twist it you can just tighten it on by turning this right here so you don't have to be going like this like you're opening a jar of pickles or something but as well as my favorite part, my favorite feature is there's a button right here. So if I wanted to stop this video right now, I could just click it. And so you don't have to like go on top of your camera and click it. You can just click it. Um, as well as if you wanted somebody else to film for you, they can hold it for you. The remote easily goes back in right here. Um, and then the final feature of this little contraption, it's got a little tripod. If you wanted to film uh, something you can easily aim this up aim it down right there and you can just be looking right at you but that is uh, the three main features for this Canon EOS in particular the handle um, and the light and the microphone that comes with the package also I will say for I mean any camera in general if you're going to want to go out hunting all the time you're going in uh, freezing temperatures and especially when you go We've had some this past season, sub-zero temperatures, your camera stuff dies pretty quick. So always bring two, at least out of three. I always like to bring three to be on the safe side because, I mean, by the, you could sit out there and get in your bag and one's already dead and you haven't even used it yet. So it's a problem with technology when you're hunting when it's really cold out. But let's get on with the next camera. All right, the next camera we got, obviously everyone uses this in most outdoors hunting industry. Anything that goes outside, underwater, windy, sleet, rain, snow, dirt, you get the point. Um, a GoPro. And I always bring two GoPros because I have two. I don't say go out and buy two. 
um, just because I have an old one and I got a new one. The new one I use is the GoPro Hero 10 Black. As you can see right there, it's a very well put together camera. It has um, settings are definitely a lot more accessible than the other one that I use, which is the Hero 8 Black. You can see there. But they're still great cameras. They take really great footage. Um, when, I'm, when I go hunting, I don't use the wide angle. I try to keep it a little bit tighter because it gets more close-up footage when you are filming, say, a duck hunt. Um, always like that, bring two, three batteries. I bring as many as I have. But these features, also on the Hero 10, you, uh, if you're not hunting over water or if it's not raining, usually I keep it on my head, which I think is the best to do because if it's on your head, your GoPro, you don't have to worry about filming. You just look where all the action's at and it's filming while you're going, which is perfect because sometimes people will put it on something else, which it's not for everybody, but you can put it on like a stand or I don't know, so I've seen somebody wrap around a tree before, but that's not the point. Anyways, back to the Hero 10 and the GoPros. Um, it has a little SIM card, so you don't need a big one like a normal SD card. Um, battery right where it comes out, but if you take this off, which is easily, you can easily put it back on, um, which is the waterproof uh, latch, just so nothing gets in there. Put it on, but if you take it off, if it's not raining or snowing, or if you're just worried about dropping the water, it has a mount on here that can easily go in to the camera and it also has a light on it which I love using this for early mornings as well more on the GoPro uh, I recommend one of these sleeves it's called a hoodie cam basically uh, you can bring as many batteries, you, batteries as you want to but stuff is still going to get cold and die and this actually helps prevent keeps it warm like wearing a little beanie on your uh, GoPro so that is perfect for something to use especially up if you're up north or even late season anywhere in the country anyways now that I'm done messing with the light on when you put the mic on here it takes exponentially better audio than it would with the mic I mean that's like trying to take some with your ears covered or something <coughs> but it does but you gotta be wary it's not waterproof when it's in this condition when it has uh, attachments and accessories on it but now, that is all for the GoPros in general, but there are also a couple things that you would never hurt to bring when you go hunting. One is which, a tripod, that is my camera stand on right now. Usually we would do this for dry fields or coyote hunting like we just did a few days ago. That video will be out soon enough. Um, the next thing to also have when you're going anywhere near, it's gonna, any, I mean, outside in general, it's a dry bag. You put all your stuff in it. You roll it up a few times, and then you latch it over. I mean, I attach this on the back of my blind bag. It doesn't go anywhere. can't get wet. Uh, you can drop it in even for a minute, but I wouldn't recommend just testing it out for fun if you got nice equipment in there. But I bring that with me anytime I go, any outdoors, outside. I mean, even on a white water raft and you bring it with your family. Um... So that, and then the last piece of I have is mainly for timber duck hunting, deer hunting, which is it's an easy hanger. This one's a little bit older. It's made by Realtree, and it comes all the way out. It has a camera knob uh, fixture right on the top. I mean, this thing folds up easily, fits in my blind bag, no problem. You could even put it in a pocket because it's not very wide. Um, this thing has caught a lot of good footage with a real my nice camera because if you're hunting in the timber, you can put it up like that. You don't got to hold it. You can hunt. And it can get a great like panoramic view of <coughs> your hunt. So that is a very great thing to bring, and I'd, always, I'd recommend looking into one because that is definitely one of my favorites. So that just does it about for me here today. I uh, just wanted to go through a little gist of all the camera stuff that we use while we're hunting or when we're doing something else, whether that be trap shooting or riding around or doing something. But the, this camera here is great for anything outdoors, indoors as well. I can't see all that well, but the video footage looks good from right here. Um, but yeah, I'll put all this stuff down in the description. 
Make sure to check out our social media, Instagram, we've got about 8,000 followers, TikTok just broke 20,000, uh, YouTube, been posting a lot of reels, this video, if you're watching this, I'm sure you've seen other ones already, um, but I will keep you guys in the loop, make sure you check out our new koozies that just came out, bottom land, got a strap right on the bottom if you want to put it on your Yeti handle, which is awesome, and our new rope hats. Those are pretty money, but yep. Make sure you guys go check all that stuff out on our website. Um, aside from that, I got nothing else. We'll see y'all soon.